Weather Channel, tonight at 8 Eastern and Pacific. Now, from the Weather Channel, here's your local on the 8th. The Weather Channel. Live by it. Check out the rainfall in Charleston, West Virginia. We'll update you on who is seeing some heavy rainfall today and let you know about some temperature changes on the way. Both the rain and temperature changes are associated with the front we're watching. Atlanta, you've been seeing an overcast day with on and off rain. You're also feeling a little bit on the warm side and muggy for November. I'll let you know when you might be feeling a little bit more fall-like across all of the south. Live from the Weather Channel, this is Afternoon Outlook. Yeah, well, as we mentioned, it's been pretty warm over the south, but definitely we've had some cold air. Take a look at the northern plains and parts of the upper Midwest, including Grand Forks, North Dakota. Record daily snowfall, 5.2 inches of snow fell in the area yesterday. Even international falls picked up 9 inches for a record. The record was only a couple of inches many, many years ago, so big changes. Hello and welcome to Afternoon Outlook. I'm Vivian Brown. And I'm Jeff Marl. Thanks for joining us. We'll have more on the temperature division across the country, cold in the west and warm still for at least one day or two in the southeast. We'll start off though with a look at rain and even some severe thunderstorms in the northeast. Wanted to pass along that there are now some flood warnings out because some of these storms around DC and Baltimore have put down a lot of water. Montgomery County, Fairfax and eastern Loudoun counties until 6.30 p.m. local time under flash flood warnings. So again some big thunderstorms here have dumped a lot of rain. Let's start off with the Doppler radar, and again, these storms develop late this afternoon, and you can see how they've pushed one batch right through the Baltimore area, now getting into the uh, eastern shoreline here of Maryland. But another batch has developed and is moving right into Washington, D.C. Take a look at both of those. Here's the first batch, moved right over the Inner Harbor. Some big, big uh, lightning bolts here, lots of torrential downpours, of gusty winds now pushing off toward the east and here is the line moving into the western parts of Virginia or I should say Washington DC out of northern Virginia right into the capital area so the capital beltway is going to be a mess this evening no two ways about it some heavier rain also just to the northwest of Philly and uh, King of Prussia then as you head right up Interstate 95 New York City now starting to get into some of the heavier rain 
Things tapering down a little bit, but still a little bit showery across upstate New York, while steady, heavier rain from New York through Hartford, Springfield, and now getting into Boston, particularly on the north side of town. Temperature there has been chilly all day, only 43, 57 in the Big Apple, 65 in Philly, and 79 in Norfolk, but that won't last. Rain will linger in Virginia and Maryland and southern PA tomorrow, even New York in the morning, and then starts to slowly sag south and people dry out by Friday. Now, let's head south. Here's Vivian. Well, over the south, we've been watching an area of low pressure. It's still spinning. Actually, you can see it in the eastern Gulf of Mexico, and it's been pumping in quite a bit of moisture across the central peninsula of Florida and some showers extending all the way along the coastal plains of the Carolinas. The darker color here, that's indicating some dry air, and actually dry air been indicated by the red, too. And we're noticing additional moisture come down across Texas and Oklahoma. As we zoom in, this is the Doppler radar out of South Florida, the Miami Way, and we have some stronger thunderstorms up near Naples here. And as you extend northward, say, of Lake Okeechobee up toward Vero Beach and uh, Melbourne Beach, Orlando, still getting some heavy rain, but at least those stronger storms have moved off to your north and west. As we expand the view even more, we get a little break over South Georgia and across the eastern parts of Alabama and back into western Mississippi. But we pick up more rain over northwest Georgia, including the Atlanta area, so some heavy rain. We're getting closer and closer to that 6 o'clock evening rush hour, so the perimeter, it's a slow go for us here in Atlanta. All of these showers are basically ahead and along this cold front now. This is the front that has brought the huge changes the overall feel to the air behind it as temperatures even as far south as Texas and Oklahoma are much, much colder than what we're finding ahead of the front. Look ahead of the front, 70s and 80s, but there you see your 40s dipping all the way across Texas. It's 85 degrees right now in New Orleans, 82 in Tampa. Where is this front going as we go through the next 24 hours? Not moving much, so again tomorrow a muggy day with low clouds and scattered showers. Now let's check out the upper Midwest where we have that cold air with Jeff. Vivian, it is cold. In fact, it is midwinter cold across parts of the Dakotas and northern Minnesota. Any rain that we had earlier here across parts of Ohio and Michigan is gone. But we still have some leftover rain in the coal fields of East Kentucky. But even that should be moving out of the picture slowly as we head through the evening hours. Here's the big changes. Look at those temperature drops. Almost 40 degrees in St. Louis, near 30 degrees in Chicago, Detroit, and Indianapolis in a 24-hour period. Everybody's dropped from the 70s into the 40s. Then you head into the Northern Plains and you're in the single numbers and teens. Ouch. Tomorrow may be a little bit of a warm-up. Uh, most areas sunny. Still some lingering showers along the Ohio River and south into the Tennessee Valley. Then it looks like uh, everybody dries out but stays chilly on Friday. Now a quick look at the west. Here's Vivian. Well, as we look at the west, our latest satellite picture shows the stretch of clouds right across the mid-latitudes, mostly sunny to the north, mostly sunny to the south, and all in all a quiet weather pattern. We're watching a system offshore, but for now it's quiet. We have the very cold air from Denver all the way to Cutbank, Montana, where it's 20 degrees, but only 9 in Glasgow, Montana. Up next, we'll take a look at the next seven days in the Weekly Planner. We'll also take a closer look at the very cold conditions in the northwest. That's coming up next. This program was brought to you by Allegra, Fexofenadine Hydrochloride. Ask your doctor if Allegra is right for you. No, I